Hi, Roberta here. So probably a month or more ago, I'm guessing more, I made the comment when I first started my YouTube channel that when I got up to 50 subscribers, I would do a giveaway. I think I also made the comment at that time that I never flaked out or backed out on a promise, but that my timelines were not always great. So here we are. Today is, I think, October 9th. And I have a journal that I would like to use as a giveaway for my 50 subscribers. That being said, I now have very close to 100 subscribers. So I guess I'll have to get going on another giveaway for that one. And then I'll wait until I hit 200 before I do another one. This is a fall journal that I made and I used a file folder to make it with some book page and some things that I found on Etsy. I think somebody else used this picture. It's just adorable. Some um, burlap and some ribbon and another cutout. Tried to do some layering. And I just did a um, ribbon closure using um, mm -hmm, whatever you call those things. You know, I made holes in it. We'll leave it at that for now. All right. Inside front cover, I've got a book page pocket with a quote on it about October. My birthday is in October, and I've always liked the month of October, not just because of that. And here's a tag that I made, doing some stamping and using some Inca Gold paints. And then I found a little stamp set in my stash and did some leaves on almost all of the pages. This is a Stampin' Up! stamp that I picked up at a garage sale. These leaves, I believe, are Stampin' Up! as well. All of the pages are coffee dyed. There are exactly 50 pages. This is a ledger page in the book that you can write on. This is just a little added color with a quote on it. And more of those printed pages. Um, a tuck spot that I made with a small tag and a journal card, a bag, and inside the bag is a card that I found on Pinterest and a library card that I just put a ribbon on. This is a cupcake liner, and this is um, a free printable from Pinterest. This can be a tuck spot. I didn't put anything in it, but it can lift up so that you can write underneath. Another pocket with a library card, and this time I kind of fed a ribbon through it. And another printable. I put some of the corrugated lines on the back. More coffee dyed paper, some with ribbon, paper clip with a piece of ribbon on it. This is also a cupcake liner and a glassine bag. And inside the glassine bag is another printable, also with the lines on the back. I used um, an edge punch on some of the pages, but not all. Some music paper that I stamped and put a ribbon on. Another tuck spot with just a scrap of coffee dyed paper and a little lined. I think it was meant to be stationary and I shrunk this down. In the center I left my strings and I put two little tiny leaves on the strings. This was a pocket I did some faux stitching on. Made a tuck spot in the back with a tag and another little tag that was a printable. And then inside this, which I want to say these might be from Tsunami Rose. And again, they were meant to be larger, but I shrunk them down. The other side of the glassine bag with just a leftover scrap of scrapbook paper that I had from another project. So there's another journaling spot to write on. And another paper clip with a ribbon. 
And I think these came from Hobby Lobby, just a little envelope with a card in it, which I did some stamping on. And another tag that was a free printable, printable from Pinterest. And the other half of the doily. The other half of the bag. And in there, I had so much fun with this, I have to show this to you. I made a little tiny journal, which I know lots of people do. I got a little carried away, though, and I had to put a little book page pocket in it with a little tiny ticket. And this is one of those spools, but it was kind of small enough to make it into the little tiny pocket. And then I stamped the pages of the miniature journal as well and made a little tuck spot with another little tiny tag in it. I had almost as much fun making this one as I did the full-size journal. And a little corner tuck spot with a tiny tag. It's kind of like a doll's journal. That's what it makes me think of. And then in the back, a lace pocket with another tiny tag. And I stamped a little tiny fall tree on it. And another tag with some leaves and a ribbon. So I just thought that was adorable, and that goes right in the bag. And then more pages to write on, and just another little colorful flap. And on the very back, another book page pocket with one of those printables and some ribbon. And this is just a little piece of ephemera that I found online. These tags, and I think I forgot to mention this, I'm very sure are Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And these might be as well, and I apologize for not knowing that I should. And if I get it figured out, I will put that down below so that you can see. These are eyelets, that's what they're called, eyelets, yep. So that is the journal that I'm going to give away for my 50 subscribers. And in order to enter the drawing for this journal, all you need to do is make a comment on this video between now and let's say next Saturday night. And I will do the drawing on Saturday night or Sunday morning, depending on how much time I have. All right. Thank you very much for watching and please leave any comments that you have. Good luck.